Hello and welcome to the brass episode of OP at Home. Uh, some of the best tunes ever written for movies feature the brass section of the orchestra and that last piece, Imperial March from Star Wars, is no exception. That's right, lots of very famous film tunes feature the brass and normally you've got the trumpet or the French horn and we're usually supported very capably by the heavy brass. That's the tuba and the trombone. And what they do, they just add a little oomph to the sound. Wallace and Gromit have been getting up to mischief ever since we were kids, Seb. And actually, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit is one of my all-time favourite films. The Wallace and Gromit theme tune is written by composer Julian Knott. And he does lots of exciting things, uh, including some very fascinating special rhythms in the lower brass. So, can we hear that tune first? Yeah. Great tune, right? But wait till you add the magic of the lower brass. It's all about the bass. People think brass instruments are all about loud playing, high drama and epic battle scenes. Well, we do enjoy playing that kind of music, but personally, I'm also partial to a beautiful tune every now and again. A Whole New World features the other side of the brass section, smooth playing, otherwise known as legato playing, with ripples of sound travelling up from the base of the quintet as our magic carpet takes off into the night sky.
was beautiful, but we've been sitting on that magic carpet for quite a while now, and I really feel like we need to get moving. Let's bring in our friend Jamie to help us out with some moves. Like the guy said, we need to get the energy up. So, everybody up on their feet. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching, then a little bit of jogging on the spot. And then when the brass have their really exciting chords, we're gonna do some punching the air. This piece of music is called the Eye of the Tiger. Have you got the Eye of the Tiger? Let's go. I think I have to say my favourite series of films are the Toy Story films. Buzz and Woody are absolute legends and I just think those films keep getting better and better. Yeah, I'd say Toy Story 2 is my favourite one. Oh really? Mine's four. I think those scenes in the antique shop, they're worthy of an Oscar. Yeah, but, but really only like a visual effects Oscar or something, not, not a real one. Uh, I think Toy Story 2 is the best because you know like the, the bit in the Owl's Toy Barn and then the elevator bit and and that song that Jesse sings, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. Well, I have to say, I've got one word to say to you. Yeah. Forky. The Forky. best character in yeah. Toy Story history. Forky. He's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good character, Forky. But I think we should, uh, we should move on from this uh, potential argument and carry on with some music, because I really hope that me and you can remain friends. Mm. 